Un grand souci qui tourmente la terre Que faut-il faire quand on veut plaire Chacun se casse la tête et se désespère Pour provoquer la vous question du jour
welcome to Bindlestiff's Open Stage Variety Show. My name is Keith Nelson, and I will be your host on today's journey into the world of circus and variety. Now, friends, I don't know how many of you are familiar with this show, but it's a little different than the ones where you go spend, I don't know, $120 to sit back and watch. This is live entertainment with more or less a circus open mic night, meaning I have no idea what we're about to see. I apologize if any of it's a little more adult than you're ready for, but that will probably be fine tonight. I have a feeling you're good for all that, right? Beautiful. Um, like this particular moment celebrates emerging artists and professional artists on an amazing stage. Now, the beautiful thing about this production is here at City Tech, the entire crew are a bunch of students learning how to make theater happen. One of the few places where you can come and like understand that jugglers need light from the back. Most places don't teach that sort of stuff. So over the next four and a half hours, you're gonna see some amazing stuff. I have no idea what is kind of the bottom line of that, but you're gonna have a little bit of aerial, a little bit of juggling, kind of all that stuff happening all around you. Now an amazing thing about this show is not only do we have what's happening here, but we also have what's happening right here in the camera. Because you see, we started the pandemic with doing a 57 week run in which the show is completely virtual. We've been able to keep that audience primarily because we're here at City Tech. So while this is happening, we've got multiple cameras from all directions, putting it out there on YouTube and Facebook. So you can tell your friends to come check it out and see it live happening. Actually the Facebook right now, I don't think is happening. It's only the YouTube. I know, which is probably okay because usually we get bumped off the Facebook in the first 20, 30 minutes because of copyright. Facebook doesn't seem to do that. Feel free to let your friends know that aren't in the room that they're, they can come to the circus show. Now folks, I am so excited about our first performer. When I like write a list of all the things I can imagine happening on stage, most of them are happening over the next five minutes. Welcome, Cole Scott Rubin. Hello. Hi there, folks. How are you doing? Well, thank you. I like you already. Uh, well, so many of you have heard tales of an unusual man committing unusual acts hailing from an unusually shaped U.S. state. I will now detail some of his exploits in song. In all of this world, there is but one man who can do things simply no one else can. Whether he gets life in jail or gets out on bail or simply those things that leave your mouth feeling stale. Ugh, he's, there's always one consistent detail. He's Floridian <laughs> and definitely male. Thank you. Florida man, shopless chainsaw by sticking it down his pants. Florida man gets attacked during a selfie with a squirrel. There's no man quite as creative, except maybe other men in the state of Florida man wearing mop on his head demands neighbors for eggs. Oh, Florida man arrested for eating pancakes in a crosswalk. There's no man quite so ingenious while committing crimes so heinous. He's a tropical bum who likes to create diabolical fun that is up for debate. Mythologically dumb, but not second rate. He's the prodigal son of the Sunshine State. Florida man steals ambulance after being released from hospital. Florida man threatens to destroy town with an army of turtles. From reality, he's quite disconnected. Oh, and when he's caught, he'll have to be disinfected. Florida man tries to run to Bermuda in an inflatable bubble again. Florida man tries to use a taco for identification. His logic unerringly betrays him. 
Oh, and when the cops arrive, they might have to tase him, cause he's a tropical bum who likes to create diabolical fun that is up for debate, mythologically dumb, but not second rate. He's the prodigal son of the Sunshine State. Many years from now, when I'm speaking to my grandchildren after they've made a mistake and they feel bad about themselves, I will tell them two things. No man is completely useless. He can always serve as a horrible example to others. And at least they're not Florida men. He also usually travels with a tuba, but he rode all the way from Boston to get here. Um, now, how many of you are at your first Bindlestiff open stage ever? Perfect, okay. So I'm just gonna take this moment and kind of catch everybody up. Um, this is my favorite prop. We will be revisiting this probably multiple times over the next few hours. Um, pretty much any time I forget what I'm gonna do, I just bring a top out. Um, but the beginning really kind of brings this all together because you see this portion of the top throwing act is simply called the wind. The wind and top throwing lingo is simply a moment for the performer to look at you, the audience. <laughs> what are you looking at, Ambrose? He's here. Hi. Huh. Oh. Did you get a text from him to watch the show? <laughs> Hart, Ambrose, Ambrose Hart. Oh. Now, if all goes well, the tub's gonna leave my hand and land right here on the performing platform. I can see the look of awe going across your faces now. While this is spinning, let's take a moment and think about attention spans and how they've devolved over the past few decades. 50 years ago, people would watch a top spinning for 20 minutes at a time, thinking it was the coolest thing in the world. Wow! 17 more minutes to go. Okay, we'll get to more tops later. And now, welcome to the stage, Jim Vines. Thank you, Keith. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jim Vines, and welcome to my world of magic and mystery. I don't know if you folks can feel it, but the energy in this room is amazing tonight. Perfect for magic. Whoa, yes, you're right. The only thing that's missing is my music. That's it, that's it, beautiful. Somehow, dude, when you stood up, you made the magic, and you made my music start. So thank you. A big round of applause for this young guy. <laughs> Over the next few minutes, we're going to try to defy the laws of space and time with a piece of rope. Yes, this is an illusion. My friend, what is your name? Heart? Heart. Would you please take this room? Stand up. Everybody say hi, Heart. Turn around, face your loving audience. They love you. Run the rope through your hands, Heart, from end to end. Feel every fiber. Make sure it's exactly as I say it is, a solid, ordinary piece of rope. No, 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 check it out, really, all the way. Check it all the way out, from one end to the other. Make sure it's real. Make sure there's no hidden elephants in there. No magnets, no wires, no mirrors. Does it look good, Heart? Hart says yes. Let's give Hart a huge round of applause. Yes. 
I also brought a pair of scissors tonight. Oh, here they are. <laughs> These are my imaginary scissors and that's important because in order for the illusion to start, I have to be able to take these imaginary scissors and cut the very real rope that Hart examined. Now folks, it's not gonna get better than that, so yeah, you gotta applaud for that. <laughs> but these ropes are not equal. That's not good. So we'll give a little stretch. Two equal pieces of rope. <laughs> My friends, that is just an illusion, which means it didn't really happen, which means we really just have one long piece of rope. <laughs> oh, now he's good. <laughs> now here's the thing. Sometimes the ends of the rope will cause me a problem. Never the middle, just the ends. So when that happens, I just take the ends off. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend, did that break your brain? <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, it's just an illusion. We can always pop those ends back on and start all over. <laughs> now my favorite thing to do with the rope though, is to take the ends and place them in my pocket and make the ends change places with the middle on the count of three, help me out. One, two, three. Now there are the ends, there's the middle, and that's an illusion with a piece of rope. Heart, I want you to keep this rope as a mysterious treasure. It will bring you many years of good luck, but more importantly, on a day when you're feeling down, when things just aren't working out right, take out the rope, run it through your hands, feel the magic, and remember, anything is possible. Yeah. <laughs> now folks, before I go, I want to take you on a little journey to the most beautiful and most mysterious area of magic of all, the spirit world. Now we all know that buildings and houses can be haunted, but did you know that objects can also be haunted? Ouija boards, voodoo dolls, anything can be haunted. Well, se several years ago, a dear magician friend of mine passed away and he willed me a haunted object. It is so cute, would you like to see it? Maestro, some happy music, please. Everybody, I want you to wiggle your fingers. We need all the energy we can get. sleep on me like that. Come on, this is our friend. Hold the bottle like that. Hold it up high so everyone can see. Come this way. Come this way. Show these folks down here. They want to see. Come around. Show them. How about these folks over here behind you? What? <laughs> Mr. Hanky is dancing for you. You can dance too. You don't have to just sit there. <laughs> Let's give a nice round of applause to my friend here. Mr. Hanky, it's your bedtime. 
No, 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 no. You know, you gotta get up. It's your bedtime. You gotta go to bed. You know how it is. Come on, you know what to do. <laughs> you guys wanna see one more? Let's do one more. He wants to do one more. He says he wants to be buckled up for safety. It's all buckled up. I guess he's going to do something dangerous for us. Okay, Mr. Hanky, show us what you can do. Mr. Hankey. And I'm Jim Vines. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great night. Good night, everyone. Jim Vines! Oh. So almost exactly, what, three years to the date, we, um, Vindelstiff decided to take the variety show and go online. Helped us get through 57 weeks of the pandemic early on. Now with that show, we were able to bring artists from around the world. We didn't have to deal with housing, borders, visas, travel. It was amazing. And with this show, we're trying to find like this hybrid version where we're still able to invite some of the folks who aren't able to be with us here in New York. Our next artist joins us from Florida. She's eight years old and she will be appearing live on Zoom for all of you. Welcome, London Simon.
technology. You know, um, I love evolution. So I'm gonna just take this moment and um, kind of talk about a certain type of evolution that's been happening. I could go into a few hundred years of how juggling has evolved, but that would take days. There's a couple of volume sets, about 4,000 years of juggling. If anybody wants to go spend a lot of money and really look into it, do that. So I'm just gonna really kind of catch up on the past couple of decades um, and primarily talk about a few individuals and one institution. Um, how many jugglers do we have in the house? Beautiful. It counts if you are, all right, if you have juggling balls, it counts. Okay, perfect. Um, so there's this one company, Renegade Juggling, that created Renegade Design Labs, which came out with a whole bunch of juggling props that nobody really cares about, except for me and like three others. So I'm gonna take this moment and just kind of um, go through some of that and then show you where it's all evolved into right now. Um, we'll start with kind of early Renegade. This is um, the fat head, compared, similar to a regular club, except it's fat. Um, then you, they decided to cut it off a little bit and create a club that you can stand up and walk away from. Um, and for like, I don't know how many of you are jugglers out there tried to like start your show with all your club standing. This made a difference. Um, Renegade also, outside of the club realm, decided to take the juggling ring and think about it in new ways. And then came up with some completely failed props that never quite caught on, such as the double handle ball. I think I'm the only one with a set. Um, this next one is actually really worth noting. Um, it's the Radical Fish, and this one is such a fancy club that it made it to the opera. I don't know how many of you saw Akhenaten, but this is the club that was behind that entire opera. Watch out. Um, which brings me to one of my favorite things, which is um, the Cuphead. This is the original Cuphead, because it could do that. They break and had some issues, so then um, over the past few years, Nils Dunker and Jay Gilligan said they decided they could come up with something better than this. And this is the Cuphead 2.0. The reason I'm showing you this is, um, Probably over the next few months, I'm gonna to try to come up with at least 30 seconds of interesting stuff you can do with this. I'm not saying that'll happen tonight, but I'm giving you reason to come back to the show and see what this can do. If you really wanna see this doing interesting things, Google Jay Gilligan and just watch what he does. But for all of us others, um, come and maybe you'll get inspired. They're making red now. And now, welcome to the stage. Archie.
Now that's some Diablo. Welcome to the stage, Gabo.
The beautiful thing is some of the moments that you see here tonight, in a couple years you may see on a French Canadian stage where you pay a whole lot of money to see the same act with smoke machines. Now, um, for whoever was here last month, you may have remember this one top trick that I kept failing at. I remember. So right now we're gonna try the same trick that didn't work four times last month. Not that I'm expecting any better situation tonight. But we'll see what happens. That was once. In this world of circus, I get two more failures before it becomes pathetic. Number two. I can't believe they get part of weapon. And now, friends, welcome to the stage, Brianna Couch.
again talk about evolution. Starting it off with um, the old cup and ball. Huh. Switch hands, try it left. Little bitty ball, big cup. Moving it to another similar thing, but this involves a spike with a much smaller hole. So you basically flip it up there and it goes right there. <laughs> and both of those lead us to um, one of the bigger geek toys in the world, um, the Kendama, which includes both the spike and the cup. Some people may ask, where could you go after this? So just on an evolutionary tale to kind of let you know where it could go, um, from here we go to the Kendama blockhead. But I have this feeling that we're a little too early in this show for you to have to deal with this. So um, maybe later, we'll see what's going on. Okay, perfect. Just waiting for that to happen. Welcome to the air, Vic Noah.
this. Now, one of my favorite things about this particular space is that pretty much every time I come, something's a little different. The, the set design class has been like creating this backdrop, so it's a little different pretty much every month. Now, for those of you that have been here quite a bit, you know that we also have this moment usually where the curtains are closing and the screen's coming in and out. But we decided to speed up um, these transitions a little bit. And a couple weeks ago, um, the screen just came crashing down to the floor. Um, it was put up in 1975. We will let you know all of that. Um, but Cooney could probably use another screen, just putting it out there. So I don't know if any of you happen to know Mayor Adams, but he's been like cutting the Cooney budget like left and right, even though he went to the school. So if you happen to know him, maybe you're in his neighbor, tell him that a little Cooney support goes a long way. And since I don't have to work the timing to feel the transition of curtains and all of that going on, welcome Elia Bisker. your chest and showing off that fancy circus style. Go ahead and treat yourself and buy some merch tonight. A little circus swag improves your life. If you're out in the world someplace beyond this Brooklyn theater stage and tuning in to watch this show online, might be in another state, but there's a really easy way to feel like we're together all the time. Just go ahead and treat yourself and buy some merch tonight. A little circus swag improves your life. sure to visit the Stagecraft Club for concessions. They need to sell some potato chips so they can make shows. 
We'll see you in 12 minutes for part two of Findlestead's Open Stage Variety Show.
second half of Bindleston Open Stage Variety Show. Now we generally start the second half with kind of a casual moment that I call Community Bulletin Board. Community Bulletin Board is an opportunity to learn about what else is happening in the greater circus world. A lot of folks think this is the only time of the month that you can see circus and variety. I'll start with a few Bindlestiff things, but then I'm going to turn the floor over to you. So if you have a workshop, a show, or just something you need to get off your chest, this will be your opportunity. I'm going to start it off with, um, I don't know how many of you go back, like upstate a little bit, but a week from Saturday, Bindlestiff Family Circus is going to be doing a show at the Hudson, Opera, or Hudson Hall in Hudson, New York. We're doing two shows at 3 o'clock, one for families, and a 7 o'clock one for a more mature audience. It's up to you where you fall in that category, but if you want to come up, check bindlestiff.org, learn a lot about it. If, you, if that's a little too close for you, we'll be in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania on Thursday, just in case. Um, also, this is pretty exciting. You have about half a month if you want some money and you're a variety artist. Bindlestiff Family Circus does what's called the First of May Award. It's a few thousand dollars for somebody working on creating a show. We give a few of these awards away. April 1st is the deadline. May 1st is when you'll learn how, if you got it. Um, we have a few winners here in the audience. But if you need money and you are a variety artist, bindlestiff.org. If you're a variety artist and you don't need money, how? <laughs> um, also, we're um, currently, I think, still looking for a few acts. Um, at the end of April, we have Bindlestiff's Cavalcade of Youth, which is a Bindlestiff Family Circus variety show in which all of the artists, including the MC, are under the age of 21. It's directed by Vivica Gardner. <laughs> and been running for, what, two decades now? 15 decades. A long, long time. Many of the artists that you see in like the, the big shows started with us at, um, in Cavalcade of Youth. We're still needing a few artists, so if you are under the age of 21, you're a variety artist, or you know a young variety artist, be sure they touch base with Vivica and get signed up. And then if you want to come support the youth, Coney Island, USA on April 30th, April 30th. Um, there's probably some other bindles that we're here in another month, but um, oh, actually, we just got word that this show is going to be happening again in the fall and the spring next year. Thank you, City Tech. And now, friends, I would actually like to kind of turn it over to you to let us know what you're doing. Hart, do you have something to, or just raising your hand? That was it. What are you going to say? Hurry, you're in time limit. Hello. Um, two, okay, I want two of the people who can handle sour candies the most to come down here when they give you what, basically what is said the most. Don't, the don't take candy from strangers. I put extra needles in it. Uh, You're, you have one, me. So Hart, give the mic back. So if you need a sour candy and you don't mind taking the kid, candy from a strange kid, Hart's handing it out. Uh, Mike, you ready to? Okay. Hey, um, there's an organization called Fizz Fest NYC. They're starting to get, um, they're gonna try to put a physical comedy festival together next year. Um, they're looking for a leadership team. You can go to Fizz Fest NYC at Facebook and talk to them and sign up. They need, Help the curators and advisor council and submission guidelines, and they need trying to figure it out. FizzFest NYC on Facebook. Beautiful. Anybody else have a show, workshop, anything that they're trying to get out there? Really? Huh. I'm getting no from the parentals. Who do I I've got something, Keith. Ki okay, beautiful. Um, this one is, uh, I've got something for the people here, and I've got some, something for people listening out in the live stream. Um, 
Charming Disaster, my gothic folk musical duo, is going on tour to the West Coast from April 23rd to, uh, sorry, the March 23rd, very soon, to April 1st. We're going to be in Seattle, Portland, Cottage Grove, Oregon, Ashland, Oregon, Chico, California, San Francisco, Pismo Beach, and Los Angeles. You can find out all about it at charmingdisaster.com slash shows. And if you're here tonight and you missed our album release show a week or two ago, I have some CDs and some Oracle decks inspired by Charming Disaster's song for sale at the merch table. And if you buy them from me now here, Bindlestiff gets 15%. Yes. Martine! Hang on, microphone's coming, Martine. Hi, everyone. Uh, well, we have a little juggling shop called uh, Flow Juggle. If you need some uh, juggling props, uh, clubs, balls, LED, fire. Uh, I'm going to pass some cards. I wish to launch a YouTube channel. That is youtube.com slash at Flow Juggle. So slash at Flow Juggle. Uh, yeah, check out our website. We have a blog. And we also have a Facebook and a Telegram group for jugglers. So if you're looking to come to juggling meetings, or meet with another jugglers in the city, uh, you know, send us a message. I'm gonna pass some cards around uh, so you can pass them around. Thank you, everyone. The only walk-in juggling shop in the city. Um, this side, you're a little behind. Oh, microphone, microphone, quick. Hi, I'm Vivica. This is my partner, David. And for the last two years, we've been designing a new... Really? I didn't even... What'd I do? I did something. Yeah, I'm told I do that a lot. Um, so for the last two years, we've been designing a new venue that's just opened on 24th Street. And it ha it's called... Well, it's called Journey, but it features immersive gastronomy, which has 360 projections, live actors, NFT art, um, augmented reality plates and all kinds of strange stuff with more being introduced all the time. So we're super proud of it. It's journeyexperience.nyc and it is open now. Uh, come and have dinner. Anybody else up in the stands with something they need to tell everybody? Beautiful. Huh. Here's an idea. <laughs> um, also coming up, there's some flip circus in Staten Island, I think, currently, if you're looking for a big top. And Cirque Mechanic will be at the New Vic in about a week. I like them a lot. So there's circus happening everywhere. And seeing no other hands, um, if, if anybody needs Mayor Adams' um, cell phone number, come to you. I'll get it for, yeah, yeah, I do. And tell him Cooney needs a new screen. Well, friends, how can we follow that? Welcome to the stage, Jeff and Buttons.
like nine and a half years ago. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm still working through. Do a whole bunch of stuff. Every day. <laughs> No, but I'm 
making, I'm making the voice rap. Yeah, that's <laughs> mimicking. <laughs> What's the mind must be grasping? Um, <laughs> mine, I think my favorite example is uh, Les Enfants du Paris. And uh, you wall. Uh, <laughs> you can't talk. You can't talk. I can't hear much. you because of the wall is <laughs> <end. laughs> I can hear you and you're talking. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a rope yeah. away from you. Uh, Ruka came my wall and right through. Why you went through my wall? Yeah. difficulties. Oh. So Exquisite Failures is the moment in this show that I come present something that I haven't been practicing. In many cases, I thought about 30 minutes before I left home. And that brings us to today's. Now, in the circus world, I'm going to take three attempts, unless I get really fed up with it not working, then it'll only be one or two attempts. Um, but if all goes fail, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. For those that are counting, um, that was attempt number one. Thank you. 
Oh, her. I think I got in my own way on that one. And that, dear friends, brings us to the third and final attempt on today's exquisite failure. Welcome the Jen Ricky Jugglers. Let's 
Bindlestiff.org to sign up on the open stage little form and we'll see what month we can fit you into. Now, I'm really intrigued by this next experience. Something that I don't think we've ever presented on a Bindlestiff stage. From the concrete streets of New York to the boards of the vaudeville stage, welcome artistic skateboarding with Orange Man and R.E.D. Classic, right? 
the penultimate moment in today's production. Meaning, friends, we only have one more display for you, and um, this next one we probably won't need you guys to volunteer. Just saying. No, not you. I, I already got parental reasons for to keep you out of the show. Huh. Next month. Yeah, exactly. Um, is it coming down? Not yet. Okay, beautiful. I'm really excited about just filling the air for this final moment. Um, so did we ever get on Facebook, Laura? Did we ever get on Facebook? No? Okay, just wondering. Because I was going to ask if we got booted off yet. So it's probably easier not getting on to not be booted off. To thinking. Um, how beautiful. Well, friends, our final act of the evening. I know, right? Welcome, Nicole and Amadeus.
crew! Oh. Well, folks, um, that's our show. Now, before we release you into the wild, first of all, I want to thank all of the crew, the students, and everybody here at City Tech for making this moment possible. And I especially want to thank all of you for coming out to support live entertainment. And now, welcome back to the stage, the fabulous cast from today's show, starting with Cole Scott Rubin. Jim Vines! Stay out here! Cole Scott, stay out here! And all the way from Florida, London Simone! Archie! Jeff and Buttons. The Jim Ricky Jugglers. Orange Man and ID. And Nicole and Amadeus and crew. See you next month. That's it.